Hey guys, Ivan here and I have a lot of bodybuilding news for you today and we're starting with this one right here, classic physique competitor, top 3 Mr. Olympian, switching to 212, I'm sure you know about this, but he, George Peterson, just announced that he's gonna do the New York Pro 2020. Of course, with a hashtag, let's get it. This guy has arguably the best back in today's bodybuilding, considering all the categories, all the divisions. Look at his back, this is insane. I'm not even joking right now, this guy is going down as one of the best backs of all time. Standing next to the big guys like Brandon Curry, he will be squashed, I'm sure. But standing there alone, all these details, this conditioning, this completeness, the thickness, are just making his back looking absolutely phenomenal. Look at the lower lats, look at how straight they are. Look at the traps, look at the rhomboids, the rear delts. The conditioning overall, the Christmas tree, the actors, I mean, it just spot on. World class back, one of the best backs of all time. Not the biggest one, not the biggest one. Standing next to the big guys, I know, it don't look that impressive. But still, you gotta admit, this is one of the most complete backs that we have ever seen. Since the bodybuilding started, literally. Standing, of course, on his own, alone. I'm just amazed. Look at the waist to, to shoulder ratio, to lat ratio. God damn, it's just freaking madness. However, as a classic physique guy, I never really found him super aesthetic, super classic. He never really had that classic look. For a bodybuilder, for a 212 bodybuilder, he is super aesthetic. But for a classic physique guy, compared to guys like Chris Bumstead and the others, you know, it's not that classic. Let's be real. I mean, sure, he has a, he has a tight waist and a pretty solid muscle bellies, but no neck, and so on. I mean, there are other details also that make his physique not super classic, not exactly 70s, 80s type of look. I could get into that and explain to you why, but it would take too long, and this is not just George Peterson video, but uh, here we're gonna talk about his chances in 212. Briefly, of course, not the entire video devoted to him. And if you guys even remember, the current champion, the 212 champion, is Kamal El Gargni. This guy won the show pretty much only based on conditioning. He was shredded to the bone. He was absolutely peeled. It was insane. The other guy, Derek Lansford, was much bigger. And everybody expected him to win it because he was so much bigger. He didn't even look like a 212 guy. But uh, he was soft, he was off, nowhere near the level of conditioning that Kamal had. So Kamal won. And this is a good thing for George. Can George beat Derek when Derek is on? No, I don't think so. It's not even comparable because Derek is a massive beast. But can he beat Kamal El Gargni? I think it's possible. Why not? The size difference is not big. The conditioning difference is also not that big. These guys are too close, actually. But... This is talking about beating the Mr. Olympia and becoming the Mr. Olympia himself. And can he do that in one year, switching from being third in the Classic to being the Mr. Olympia in the 212? If that happened, that would be like the craziest story ever. And is it impossible? I don't think it's impossible. I think it's actually very possible. But is it going to happen? Probably not. I mean, that's not really a big chance. But as far as his potential at 212, I think he has a great potential and I think that is much better division for him, uh, much, much better than Classic. Even though he's great in Classic, third in the world, I still think that's not where his potential is uh, going to shine the most. I think he's going to fulfill his potential in bodybuilding. If that's gonna mean 212 because he can fit the category, sure, awesome, that's also bodybuilding. If he can grow, Enough for the open, then go for the open. But I think bodybuilding is where his potential, his genetics are gonna shine. And that's my opinion. What do you guys think? All right, we have another update of Patrick Moore, who is getting ready for the Arnold Classic. And in this post, he's taking Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. And he says, I don't know, man, this side chest might make Arnold Schwarzenegger say damn. Well, let's agree he's stretching it a little. I mean, sure, it's a great side chest. He looks amazing, but <laughs> to make Arnold say, damn, I don't think that's gonna happen. He saw a lot of good guys. I mean, he saw Ronnie Coleman at the Arnold Classic back in the day. So compared to Patrick Moore, you know, it's a whole different league. But sure, I mean, Patrick is great here, although he does have some weaknesses. For example, his legs are not looking that big and uh, his triceps and biceps are kind of 
too big for his shoulders. They look simple-ish, even. But, I mean, that's not gonna be a problem when the Mr. Olympia, or actually Arnold Classic in this case, comes. I know it's not simple. It's probably not simple. It could be. It could be simple properly done that you can't even notice it. But, I mean, sure, his triceps and biceps are out of proportions. So just compare them to the size of his shoulders. Could that be just genetic? It could. But, uh, I don't know, many people don't really understand how Sintel works. They believe if you have veins and striations, it's not Sintel. That's not how it works. You can have striations and veins. Almost every bodybuilder is using it. Uh, but in this case, is Patrick using it? I don't know. I'm not saying that he is. He could be, though. And I don't think uh, Arnold would like this very much, this, this, this balance. It's not very proportionate. But he, this guy is the most aesthetic guy at the Mr. Olympia stage right now by far. By far, for sure. Still not that great in my opinion. Uh, not super aesthetic compared to guys like Arnold and so on. And you know what? If I commented this on his Instagram post, if I wrote a comment down below, I would be blocked. <laughs> so Patrick made a video. Uh, basically, you can watch it on his Instagram, it's 3 minutes long, I'm not gonna play it for you here, you can go to his Instagram and check, but basically he's uh, replying to all the people commenting on his photos and videos and criticizing his physique. So, to sum it up, basically what he says is, uh, if you guys are commenting on his photos and if you are criticizing his physique, you will get blocked. Because he already knows what his weaknesses are, he has a, a coach, a trainer, he's checking his physique every day, and he knows what he needs to work on, and if you try to tell him that, he, he's gonna find that offensive, and he's gonna block you. And I can get this to a point. I have an Instagram, and I have my followers telling me the same things that I know, like, you need to work on your biceps, you're a doctor's, uh, and so on, and I know all that, I'm not blind, but I don't mind. I mean, sometimes it can be annoying, but I would never block anybody for that. And he says uh, he's a professional, so he knows what he's doing, and you guys don't need to tell him that. So I guess if I ever become a professional, I will have to block people, right? Is that the logic? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. But if you guys uh, don't want to get blocked by Patrick, don't tell him what his weaknesses are. He knows that very well. <laughs> Let's go with the next story. Wow. Just wow. I think I could just say wow two times and uh, end this part about Terence Ruffin and leave it there for like a minute or two so you can just watch this physique and admire it. Really, really good classic physique. And I'm sure he had an arm workout before he took this photo because look at his arms, they're huge right here and those are his biggest weakness. Arms and calves and I would say lat insertions. But anyways, everything else is just spot on, just... Not just good, good enough, but insanely great, genetically speaking, and uh, as far as development also, and everything, I mean, this guy is uh, classic all day long. We kind of forgot about him for a while there, but now he's back on the track, and in six weeks, we're gonna see him at the Arnold Classic, and I'm not sure who else is doing it, as far as the classic physique guys, the top guys, but I can predict this guy winning it. Uh, he won the Niagara Falls, which is... Very, very easy show for him. The competition was very, very weak. Uh, it wasn't exactly top-notch classic physique uh, lineup. But at the Arnold Classic, it's going to be much better. It's like second best lineup in the year, usually. So who knows who else might show up. But I think uh, this guy has a pretty good chance to, to actually win. And at the Mr. Olympia, I think he will be third spot next year. Uh, if Brio and Chris are still in the top two, which will probably be the case. So I expect this guy to be top three in the Mr. Olympia, at least. If not even win the Mr. Olympia, it's possible. I mean, look at his physique. He's my favorite classic physique guy right now. I would say after Chris Bumstead, of course. Who doesn't like Chris? Chris is just perfect classic physique. But look at Terence Ruffin right here, rough diesel. Better arms than Chris. Shorter though, but also narrow waist, broad shoulders and chest, and, and much better back than Chris, and glutes are also amazing, quads are perfect, basically, everything else, I mean, just, just spot on, he, he's a great, great classic physique guy, and I expect, I expect great things from him, potentially even being the next Mr. Olympia champion for who knows how many years, I think it's possible, I think he's gonna be the next big thing in classic physique, mark my words. So there is a video of Big Ramy doing his workout at 7 weeks out of Iron Classic. It's on Dragon Pharma YouTube channel. 
I can't play the video for you here because I'm afraid of a copyright strike or something. You can go to their channel and check the video out. But it is insane. Big Remy is absolutely enormous. Enormous. He doesn't look like a human being. He looks like an alien. And here you can see him uh, pressing, shoulder pressing on a Smith machine, almost four plates. And this is like third or fourth exercise. And he's doing about 12 reps easily with a great tempo with the control and the negative and everything, not powerlifting style, bodybuilding style, just pumping the weights. This guy is strong as a bull and he's enormous, he's huge. Look at him here, look at this madness. Look at the size of, the, of those delts, of the arms, of the neck. I mean, where is the neck? You cannot really see the neck. No neck on this guy, but enormous guy, enormous guy, beast, an absolute beast. If he brings somewhat of a decent conditioning, he is going to be unbeatable at the Arnold Classic. No chance in hell anybody is touching him. But if he comes completely off, he will be third spot. Dexter and Bonek can uh, best him, but uh, that's it. Nobody else can do it. Only the, those two guys. And if Big Remy comes in shape, in a decent shape, he is taking that uh, trophy home rather easily. These guys are not uh, his league not his class as far as the size. These guys look like lightweight bodybuilders standing next to him because he's so huge. It's just about him, whether he brings the conditioning or not. As for now, seven weeks out, he is enormous, enormous. He's keeping the size for sure. It's all about conditioning. I also wanted to mention this real quick uh, physique update of Cody Montgomery, a wonder kid basically. And right now he looks, sure, he looks great. Arms are big. Lats are big, chest is also big, he's in great condition, but uh, the waist is too big also. And that's why I don't find this physique that impressive. The classic physique guys, they all have narrow waists, and that's, that's way more impressive than this. Uh, Cody's waist just got huge, out of proportions, and I don't like it, honestly. I don't like it at all. And how about we end this video with a joke? This uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Tinder challenge. And this is Arnold Schwarzenegger with his <laughs> challenge properly done. Properly done. I laughed when I saw this. He's like 72 and he's still making jokes like, jokes like this. This is hilarious. But Ronnie Coleman also did this after Ronnie. And Ronnie's uh, <laughs> challenge is also done properly. Look at him. He looks great here. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you had some laugh with me. If you did one of those two things, like the video, please. Subscribe for more bodybuilding videos and news like this. All the best guys and bye-bye.